Hello everyone, and welcome to the Enclave. How's everyone doing? There's a waste of space fa fading into the corner, from the corner, from the edge. There we go. She, she's rocking the hat, I'm rocking the full thing. We're ready, we're ready to finish up America Rising 2 Legacy of the Enclave with the General Ward path, so it felt only right I'd be in a full, full garb. No, not sure, no, there we go. Okay, let's, let's, let's reposition this. Let's make it just both also, there we go. We didn't know she, that she'd be joining until just now, so yeah, thank you for joining us. <laughs> A first cosplay from me, half cosplay from her, but still, I got the badge and everything, the stars. Oh, you probably can't see, yeah, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> yeah, thank you for joining, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. Um, so where we left off last time, um, I don't really know. Um, I guess yeah, the oil rig got attacked by the Institute. That's a thing that happened, yes. Um, the, uh, the teleporter jammers that were all, all along the oil rig were destroyed by simps, go figure. Um, and we fought them off, and General Ward has simply just had enough. He is just, he's had enough. Um, we had a chance to look, at, look into taking over the Institute a little while ago, decided no, absolutely not, and now we're just going to nuke it. To, to high hell. Um, so, yes, we just fought them off, and now you can go talk to Lieutenant Fitzpatrick to fly and start doing the final quest. Or, I guess, second final, because there's all the wrap up stuff and all that fun stuff. Um, also, um, don't know how this happened, but I'm a Twitch affiliate now, so uh, enjoy the emotes in the chat. Uh, thank you for all the viewership. I really appreciate it. Oh, there's Ward standing all, all dramatic like. It's fun, cool. Um, yes, let's go find old Fitzpatrick. Now the only the only thing is I think if our if memory serves the loading screen next is gonna be a little a little monumental, but it's fine. It'll be worth it. Yeah, so we've got uh we've got um you know, the vertebrates all lifting up, ready for the big old airdrop stuff. People gathering by the vertebrates. It's all, it's all a big, the big finale type setup. That just looks messy. That's fine. Um, yeah. I got, got Peterson in his full power armor. Also, okay, so full. Like, mine's the helmet. That's you know, that's a cool factor. Excuse me, officer. Of course. The old girl's ready for action. Ready to tear the institute a new one. Troops for the assault. There will be us and two other birds leading the charge, each loaded with troops. Sure, not as many as we'd wanted to, but we got air superiority and power armor on our side. You ready to head out? Born ready. Once the Institute's out of the picture, everything just falls into place. Heck yeah, it does. Let's do this. Let's move out. Yes, sir. Again, if there's ever a moment uh, the death counter would increase, it's during this quest. And it hasn't gone up since it, it hasn't, which is pretty surprising, but but yeah. And again, this is, this is a bug I'm aware of, but nothing I can do about it. The fades to black don't apply to the power armor HUD. Um, it's fine, just the Oh, it's okay. Nice. City's in sight. Mini guns hot. If anyone takes pot shots at us, we know what to do. Remember. Getting these vertebrates to fly in formation was such a drama. You have no idea the amount of markers that are breadcrumbing this path, but I'm so happy I stopped it. This is just a cool moment. You know, you don't tend to see these guys flying formation in the game at any point, so yeah, I really want to get that going. It just, it just felt like, you know, final quest. We needed an epic moment. Fun, fun fact, actually. Uh, oh yeah, they'll comment on like another you know, prison and all that stuff. Um, fun fact: this last quest was not going to be this way. It was actually going to be a uh, a march in a big squad from North Boston Police Department to the Institute, and um, 
I got maybe 40% of the way through implementing it. Like, it was it was somewhat playable. You could actually fight your way to the Institute. But I kind of, I just kind of ended up feeling like the Brotherhood of Steel. Like, destroy the Institute path. And I was just there thinking, like, that's... I don't... That's just more of the same. What, what, what else can I do this time? What, what that guy... Okay, he's just going up to, to Mars. Okay. Um... I just got some little, like... Just, God, things are exploding. Oh, jeez. Yeah, got some little background lore of Fitzpatrick establishing some of his pre-war pre, pre -war life stuff. And just a little moment. But yes, I got most of the way there, and it was just like, it was just a shame that I ended up feeling the Brotherhood of Steel sequence. So, I just thought, you know what? The Enclave's all about bird birds, let's make it about bird birds. And then, the sequence happened. Oh, oh, jeez. Just get hit by a rocket? God. Horrible. Okay, it's not going from anything, that's fine. Okay, institute time. I, I'm literally missing every shot. Yeah, so, um... A little, a little stuff is going to happen in a second. Yeah, that, that vertebrae is doomed to the branch. Just, just for the drama. Um... Yes, and then this was going to be... Um, a bit where uh, like you were going to disembark and all that stuff too, but then I thought, Let, let's have another moment where you're spying from the These like these like weak targets, it's kind of fun to just count the moments. So yeah, we'll shoot out before we can get friendlies for a bit. And um, right now, all this fighting that's um, that's all America Rising Two specifically. It's a mini, the mini quest that runs in this area. But then in a in a little while. Um, once it's part over, it then hooks into the actual like Institute combat system. So, right now, it's just a simple, just not spawning people for a little while. Some mass murder. The Enclave way. Brother Valkyrie intensifies. Abso oh boy. Absolutely. If I could license it. Also, fun fact, um, when I was testing this, when I was testing this, for the most, for the most part, I was playing with God mode. Uh, hold that thought. Now, now this is like, this is like the, the standard institute, like, exterior part. So I, I, I hook into this. this. This now actually, now the, um, this quest thinks you're doing this to the village school. So it's spawning in all the enemies that you've that really spawned in. I was able to use the game. But yes, I usually test this with God Mode before. Um, when I was doing some of my final testing um, without God Mode, I discovered a very unfortunate issue where most of the time the jumps from the vertebrates were so high up, you would break your legs and sometimes die if you're at a low enough level. Um, so I panicked, and now every time there's a, in, a sequence in this, in, in this mod where you have to jump from vertebrate, be it you know main quest or a uh, repeatable quest or side quest or whatever, the game actually gives you a perk temporarily that makes you um, immune to fall damage for like five seconds, um, just to stop that because that would be very embarrassing otherwise. That's fine. It's all fine. Okay, and now we wait for the demo team. Demolition team, so we've got um we've got Myers and we've got Barrett. They're using their spam the, the, the fancy uh demo charges. Make sure you keep any tangos off us. Barrett, don't forget. Green goes to terminal two and jump yell at the red. Got it. What about Brown? Unless you want to shower our pals here with your guts, I'd suggest maybe not touch your bra. Let's live by. Mm. Duly noted. All done. Same here. All right, Charges. clear the area. Come on then. Four. Three. Two. 
three, two, one. Fire in the hole. Fun, fun little fact, if you have Colonel Whitehill around at this point, um, she actually is here on the spike and like, takes charge. Um, obviously Ward isn't here because he's a general and having him run into potentially certain death is a mistake. Yeah, there's a collision issue, don't worry about it, it's fine. It still works. Look, I'm not a 3D asset author properly, okay? I, I, I bumble around. In. Man, I love the Bunker Buster quest icon so much. It's just so silly. Alright, Peterson, what do you got for us? We're making progress. Well done, sir. General Ward's orders are to go straight to the reactor and fire at will on any hostiles along the way. When we've arrived at the reactor, you'll need this fusion pulse charge. After you've fastened it to the reactor, we can detonate it from a safe distance. The explosion should be big enough to destroy the entire facility. Chief Engineer Myers? You're to stay here and prepare the teleporter for us to exfiltrate after we're done. Fun fact, now, now, now that I remember, the only reason Peterson has a uh, beret was because a moderator in our Discord, um, Gallows, asked very nicely, about like halfway through development of Mercury Rising 2, just have a beret. He just wanted an enclave beret. Um, which... Really? Yeah, they asked, um, and I, we, I genuinely don't think we were considering it full stop, but I saw the request and I was like, that makes sense, it would look cool. Um, and Waste of Space whipped this up, I think literally that same night, because she's powerful. Um, and yeah, they just seemed like the right guy to have it, so yeah. And you know, you, you, can, you can buy some off of Barrett and you can make them in the factory, but yeah. Thanks to Gallows that there's berets, Enclave berets in America Rising too. Um, oh, sorry, uh, Rusty, I missed your messages. There's this crazy bug in testing where going to the Institute of the Enclave would trigger the railroad version of a nuclear option alongside. Yes. Yes, there was. Um, if I rem remember rightly, the combat sequence outside, um, Mercury Rising 2 fools the game into thinking you're there with the Broad of Steel um, to like, trigger all the respawning enemies and so on. And then once you're inside, due to reasons, it then fools the game into thinking you're there with the railroad. And what was happening was, yeah, it was triggering like the railroad controller quest in the background too, so you have this demo now here randomly being very familiar with you know it's all just it's all just chaos it's fine it works now don't worry about it hey Myers. Ah, don't worry about me i'll get this relay wiped out count on you Myers. ma'am i'll keep an eye on Myers. you go get this done major thanks barrett so i believe Nixon will be commenting on everything along the way Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Or not. It was very, it was very delicate setup. Um, because again, yeah, since this is a whole hooking into the game stuff, um, it's very fragile. Um, but Peterson has a bunch of contextual dialogue he can say while roaming this area, but also White Hill in case she's here because she's optional and Peterson's optional, and it's all, it's all just a thing. But yes, you can't use a lift anyway. It's like disabled because. The place is on shutdown, which fair enough. I do like that this is like a everyone comes along to help mission, like everyone relevant. It just felt right. It just felt right with like the the big old finale. Dude, is it? Oh, All the stories. They're about this. Like to be fair, yeah, like it's, you heard the incident, it's just wreck. I was trying to think hard of um yeah. Oh, you've been from his perspective, because you've been to the team at this point, but no one else has it. Okay, guys, guys, you hear like the whole arm, he is doing something. Titalino still cannot aim. Why did I destroy that turret? Anyway. Yo, yeah, little wonder you've lost them, you're just staring at the stairs. Okay. They're trying, they're here in spirit. They're, they're very polite, aren't they? So then here all dressed up. Um, they're being very polite. Are you sure they're dead? I wonder if they bought that. 
They're being awfully stop following. Come on, guys. Anyway. I don't need no help. There's a turret attacking me, but I don't know where from. So it is. So there is. Facebook turrets. Very inconvenient. Consider it. Ammo? Hello? Thank you. We like ammo here. Hatchets and ammo. All you need in life. Hello. Hello? Is someone present? Yes, hello? Oh boy. Still can't aim. <laughs> Still can't aim. It's fine. Ooh, I'm burning for my ammo though. Hang on, let's just do a little bit, a little bit of a looting session here. That's something. There's something. Follow me, gentlemen. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Doing everything myself anyway. But are they really not following? Okay, thank you. Making my quest design look bad here. Maybe get removed from affiliate. Come on, Peterson. Now this is the institute. There we go. Should be getting close to the reactor. Indeed. Now, now, if you'd be closer if you were closer to me, man. And now it's time for some mass slaughter. <laughs> Doesn't feel good cutting on the scientist, I must admit. But you know what? We're on favor owning it. You don't, you don't know. No. But again, we're on favor. That's what we do. I think so. I think they, uh... Is this because I'm a better cook than you? Might bot to do in God's work. I guess that's how we know we've made it. Oh no, the gorillas. Oh no, the gorillas. Oh no, the gorillas. <laughs> Genuinely never would have thought I would have ended up fighting gorillas in Fallout 4, but here we are. Man, buddy was causing drama to the Enclave soldiers. Anyway. Onwards. It does end up being a little bit a uh, little bit of a slaughter fest. Um with your army full of uh, power armor soldiers. But again, I guess it's balanced out by them just not following confidently. Oh jeez. No, I I, I don't actually- wait, you can see that bit. They're just cutting down the innocents in true enclave fashion. I don't actually remember what I what I did with the Sir Francis. I'm pretty sure he just spawns off that quest, honestly. But he doesn't really have any combat lines or anything, so it's yeah, it's for the best. Oh, I'm the laziest. No, but actually, you look like I'm seeing some of the some of the. Major. Oh, I Myers. You get to it from. Advanced systems. Problem is, the place is locked down tight. If I'm reading this right, you can only get access from the director's terminal in their quarters. Terminal. Man, Joe does such a good job as Chief Engineer Myers. He's so good at it. Right, time for an emotional reunion with Father Sean after I've done some looting. Ammo, please. Thank you. Speedy elevator. My goodness. I 
uh, do we be good and talk to Sean for the lore, or do I just do what I always do? Oh, dramatic. <laughs> Sneeze for dramatic effect. That is true. There you go, my son. Oh. Just landed in the bin. <laughs> the, let's, let's try this again. There you go, my son. A gift from Papa. I. I. Just under his breast. There. 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 No, but like, come on, a shockwave. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not standing for this. Hang on. Very tempting, you know. Let's see what else. What else do I have here? I, ca I can't. This is a good angle. Hello? Oh. It's oh. What is? <laughs> I mean, I, I, it wasn't even a good camera angle, it was just me staring at him. What? Try this again, this is, we are blowing him up. Thank you. Still alive! Okay. That was horrible. In what, what 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 was happening there? Hang on, do you have do you have no, you don't have like the, the thing I need? Put it black. I am not putting on his laptop. Okay. Novice terminals tightly no can maybe do. Not that. It's not that. Surely it's grey. Ah right. This is how we hack. Egos. Trek. Keys? Nope. Try that again. I'm trying plenty. Scent? None. Nice. Ooh. We're almost there. I can feel it. Fuse? I thought I said latte. I'll go for a latte. Rain. Oh my god. This because everyone's. Usually I get this in two or three, two or three turns, so that's because in this live. Chip them. Feet? Hmm, never feet. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's do this properly then. So I have stir. Okay, so none of that, so. Hurt. Add Eva. Let's get some let's remove some duds. Some very engaging content, I'm certain. I got my attempt back. So it's not stir, it's not hurt. Paid? It's not anything. I am I am a minute away from just whipping out the con the console. Hmm. Body. Team. This is ridiculous. And your point? What? <laughs> Look. We all have our talents, and this is not one of mine. Oh, we have to, that's, okay, we're backing up and trying again, lads. Now this one, this one's gonna be it. New? Mm. Crap? Oh, it's gotta be crap. Oh. Bro. Oh. Please. Have on the right. I don't have on the right. If I was if, I would have lost my mind. <laughs> Seeing so on here. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, whoops, sorry. 
bottom right. No. Sweet. Ah. Fair. That is how you play the game. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was there eventually. Um, I see evacuation protocol. That's not something the enclave does. They don't evacuate people. There we go. Ah, we're cooking. Looks like you've got a clear run to the reactor. Thanks, Myers. More of our boys have turned up too. Should be with you soon. Now, who in Tar Nation be shooting at me? No, no, not yet. <laughs> Buddy, you have no power. Thank you. Love it. Yes, boys. Wreck him, though. Who's wrecking me? Where are these simps coming from? He asks in the Institute. Time. You said to reload. Come on, team. So, so much guts on the floor, my word. Ammo? Ammo for Tides to Lino, thank you very much. Fantastic. Okay, come on, guys, you take point here. You got this. Yes! Oh, God. Okay, let's get out of this death corner. As long, if, if, as long as the team's in a very small enclosed space, they can do their job. Wonderful. Something that always bothered me about the Institute is that they have no visible production facilities. Closest thing we got is the old robotics, but that's sealed off. I was thinking the same thing, yeah. I mean, you do have um, that weird, like, vat where they pull the simps out of. But it is the, the only thing we see. We don't see anything from the old simps. I guess, are they still making the old sims? I guess that's the other thing. Maybe the, the old sims are made in the old robotics section now, like they've just stopped and, America's and yeah. Ah. All right, where are we going? This way. The hallway of 20 turrets. Speed running turrets. Yes. Tide Lino so powerful. He's ascended. Ascended Tide to Lino. Oh god, the other rocket launcher. A 2018. I've never noticed that name before. Guys, if you could help me in the final boss room, that would be wonderful. Come on, come on. Off you go. Bravely de defeat the Enclave's enemies. Thank you. There we go. Now, now we're doing. Now we're now we're doing some good stuff. Oh, yeah. This this guy, this guy is a hero. Look at him. He's he's. I'm proud of him. Go on, son. Then we have never noticed A2018 there. I wonder this is the strongest in I guess. Never know. That's enhanced pipe wrench. Six damage. What's my? Yeah, we're. we're, 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 we're yeah. No, we're, le we're leaving. We're leaving that there. Yeah, the hatchet's pretty fantastic. Oh wait, no. Did I get that? I just saw the other, like the reactor terminal possible. Did they? Did I get that? No. We are not hacking again. I'm not putting uh, the fine people on the stream through that again. Ugh. Let's see. Reactor status. Hit shut down sequence. Good work, sir. 
Thank you. We're done here. Time to expo. Chief Engineer Myers, you've completed the mission and are ready to leave. Can you teleport us out? What for the fur wetting? He doesn't. Things are breaking. Things are breaking live on stream. Let's see if uh, we're these end up in the right spot. That was odd. Let's get teleported to like a different spot. We did our spot. objectives. Ready to teleport. I seen that, right? I would. But look, this kid just turned up. Oh, Lord. He's saying he's the Major's son. Please, Dad, don't leave me here. I want to go with you. Oh, Simp, Sean. Why did you call me Dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Was your father what do you mean nobody told me you just are now chat do we take simp sean with us or do we leave simp sean it seems to me that the enclave would leave simp sean behind but when we do the other path we won't actually have this opportunity so i kind of wonder maybe we take simp sean with us doesn't really change anything really but Very briefly. But like it's not Yeah. Thing. Get it because I'm the major. No, I, I will I will overrule Rusty you Rusty, sorry. I'll I'll take him just so we've like covered that thing, because yeah, we won't have him next time. So fine, yes, right. sure. Of course I'm your father. Good. Yes, little robot second, boy, I am your I father. I forgot who I was. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Alright. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. Now let's get out of here. I'm glad you were here to save me. Yeah, Maya's dialogue for leaving him behind is very unhappy with you. Until until he understands what's going on. Let's move out. Ready to go? The relay works. It's not gonna vaporize me or something, is it? I've teleported you somewhere before. <laughs> I'm sure I can do it again. <laughs> Ready to go? I love Myers so much. I mean, far be it for me to say this like a character I made, but I love Myers so much. Absolutely. Let's get out of here. All right. I'll get this thing running. Okay. I'm sending you to the mass fusion rooftop. That's where the detonator's set up. I'll send the rest of us back to the oil rig. That charge is going to flatten this place. Hope you enjoy the fireworks. You're all done here, Major. See you later. Now, I am going to make a save here because at one point in time my PC crashed whenever I did this bit. Um, it hasn't since, but I'm just paranoid. Yeah. So let's just go here. What's going on with him right now? What is. Is that hello? Oh. Something real wacky is happening in the. Yeah. That's so odd. Huh. Bugs, am I right? I miss this for the world. Hi, Wardy. We should be well outside the blast radius. I'm told it will be quite a sight. With the push of that button, you will annihilate the last remaining obstacle in our path. There will be nothing to stand in the Enclave's way. Do it, Major. Emperor Palpatine vibes there. Do it. Do it now. Sir. Well done, Major. I'm just gonna loop. Oh. I wouldn't miss I this swear. for the world. I feel like I had... We should be I feel right like there's like dialogue radius, after this. I mean, maybe I just forgot to hook it up. With the push of that button? Yes, yes, yes. It's do fine. It. It's fine. There you go. I'm glad we'll get to witness the Institute's destruction. So funnily enough, um, again, this sequence is like base, a base game thing, um, so I just hook into it, I didn't set it up, it's just like, yeah, base game thing. Um, and the way they set it up is you literally cannot leave until you've pushed the button at this point. They've got like invisible walls all around, you just, you cannot, you, you can tell they just didn't have any better ideas to stop people from breaking this, so yeah, they, they make it impossible to leave, and it's, it's funny. 
Oh, turn this away. Is chat ready for big boom? Because I am ready for big boom. Three, two, one, boom. In time. Oh, Mad God arrived just in time for the big boom. Hey, hey, Mad God. I can feel just it. Just in time for the big boom me. and a whole lot of the talking. Heat, the force, the radiation. I think we can probably skip Fear. the cinematic. Hey. I expect most people. It's the end of the world, all over again. Yeah. Go on then. We'll, we'll skip the cinematic. I close my eyes. I see. I would praise me, please. Sir. I hope you appreciate what you've done here, Major. The magnitude of your actions is almost unfathomable. Yeah, I set off a nuke. Not every day you get to do that. Having the best day over there. So we've won. Yes. We've won. Unquestionably the Enclave's greatest victory. Happy the day indeed. gone, there's nobody in the region that can challenge us. Only insignificant annoyances. We will release the FEV and we will fortify. In the coming years, as the mutated filth dies off, we will emerge a new America. Our own America. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Those exposed to any meaningful radiation will die thanks to the FEV. Those that survive will be presented with a simple choice. To join us in our new world with us as their masters, or to perish. We'll see to it that the mistakes of the past will never be repeated again. Now I believe it's time to return to the Like oil. true good guys, am I right? I imagine the troops will want some sort of speech to celebrate the occasion. I'll see you there. Okay. The oil rig. Yeah, as um, as people will see in Act Three, I got kind of cinematic slash cutscene e happy because you had the uh, the whole like attacking the institute plan sequence, and we're about to have another one now. But yes, yeah, so if you take Simph Sean with you, he just waits for you politely here in the oil rig by like by the door, so you can get him. Sean, do you want to get out of here? Go live somewhere else with me. Simph's the Army Depot. Why not? Up you go, okay. enlist, son. Train up and become a strong soldier like your good old Harpy. The army depot's just a short trip. Absolutely. I'm gonna leave the power on it here. You know what? You know... Oh. Hold that fort. Hold that fort. I'm gonna run to my room. Stand by. Stand by everyone in the conference room. Stand by. Where is my room? That way? Thing. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit. Oh, I guess we'll get the overcoat. Oh, so hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wait, did I have it on already, actually? Hang on. I do. Cool. So, first... That. Eh? 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 We match! Okay. I love cosplay. Why 
Why is this such a long load screen? I was just in here. Come on, oil rig. What place is the bee? Oh, I suppose they are. Oh, for those not in the know, I guess I should say. This, made by the lovely Waste of Space. Go figure, not only did she make most of the in-game uniforms, she made the one I'm wearing. Oh, I just realized I never, hang on. I didn't set up like my good, my good, uh, like chat, chat, chat system thing. Hang on. Can I do that? Nope. That? Nope. Oh, hang on. There it, is a long it is a long thing. I'm, I'm a little worried, actually, you know? Hmm. Oh, boy. Do we have an infinite loading screen? So the music's still going. It's still animated. It's tricky, because we did have that really long loading screen yeah. when, after we rescued Nick. Um, and that was just in a base game location, but... This is looking awfully suspect to me. I think, for the sake of the stream, I'm going to just uh, cut to a Brett back, and I'll just restart the game and come back in. So give me two, two minutes or so, guys. Brett back. I'm back. Um, I don't think I'm wearing the thing. Okay. Yes. Luckily, there was a very, very kind autosave. So let's try this again, shall we? There and there. Now, I'm going to make another save. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try using the door again. And if the door still gives me an instant load screen, one, I'll investigate it off stream. And two, I can use console commands to go elsewhere. So all is not lost. Facebook? I think... Ooh, I don't remember. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, right. Again, because like, I've got the gang following me. That always confuses me. Um, I can't remember if I fixed the face mug or not. Like, uh, what, like, what happens isn't necessarily... isn't technically a bug. It's, um... Just that a thing you should do with, uh, new characters you create is you should export their, their face textures and package them with a mod, and, uh, then it'll be fine. Because um, if you don't do that, the game will generate them at runtime. But if it has to do too many at once, then it'll like struggle and give up, basically. Uh, because, yeah, the intention is you pre-bake them. The problem is they inflate mod size a huge amount. Um, so I don't want to do that, especially not for Xbox. Like, it, it's genuinely many hundreds of megabytes. So if I remember right, I think I ended up in a patch generating them for the main characters, and that's it. Maybe? I don't quite remember. Could be completely off mark I'm here. If we ever get a bigger file size for mods on console, then like I'll generate them all and it'll probably be fine, but okay. let's start. Talky time. Two hundred years ago our world was left forever changed. Nuclear hellfire swept across the land, taking with it our homes, our friends, our family. Our way of life gone in the blink of an eye. All that was left behind was a twisted world filled with lawlessness and vile mutations. Only one hope remained. Us. I had so much fun From with the camera angles. From a safety control station enclave, the greatest minds toiled away at a solution to the ailment Although of our beautiful I couldn't, for the life of me, get General Ward to consistently look forward, until which is forever a sadness to me, but hey. Mere moments before our finest hour, they destroyed it all. Thousands killed so that they could maintain their power. However, 
They were not prepared for the resilience of the Enclave. We have endured, we have persevered, and our work has continued. Now the Brotherhood of Steel is in disarray, their little Elder and his airship reduced to nothing but ash. And not even the Institute. Oh An organization feared it's by fine. soldiers Pay no mind to the man skull on the left. Power. We are the undisputed power of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and this is simply the beginning. We will release the FEV, perfected by our own Dr. Kane, and with it, we usher in the beginning of a new era. An era where mutants cease to be. An era where our America returns to us. An era of the Enclave. God bless America, and God bless the Enclave. Oh, man. Al Ali Max Scott, man, his, his performance is so good. It's so good. I would good speech. Sir. I'd say that went rather well. Come to the labs with me, Major. There's one last task I have for you. Oh, I quit. I'm done here. I've done my job. Just match. I match IRL. I just love having this uniform. Oh, that's quite a seam at the back of his cap, huh? <laughs> Any for your thoughts? So, and like, then he'd be like looking at them instead of the senator. I mean, I guess it's possible, but even by my standards, that is monu that'll be monumentally no. janky. No, be even by my standards, that would be so a tiny man in the podium. <laughs> Oh god, it'll probably work too. Oh, but I hate it. I hate it so much. I really do. Great. Yeah, so those of you that would have, uh, that, that might have joined for the last stream, I, I, like you saw that the FEV release device was under construction. Here it is, it's all done. Like all the scientists are. They gathered around. I can't believe this is actually going to happen. Yeah. Technology. Big. Big tech. Going. Okay. Tiny General Ward in the podium. Don't talk to me or my son again. Oh, General Ward's struggling. Come on, guys. This is hey. Over here. It's because of the gang. Hang on. Come on, come on guys. Go check that out. Yes, go inspect the scientist. <laughs> I, I do admit the, the catwalks look cool, but not the most practical for a uh, high traffic environment. But what are you going to do? It's not high traffic most of the time. Is it ready, Doctor? It is, General. Just press the ignition. The honor's yours, Major. Release the FEV. Oh, enclave be enclaving. Now our FEV will saturate the earth, and it is all thanks to you. What's next? And that is the question, isn't it? We've come a long way from the vault. And if I'm honest with you, I'm not entirely sure we'd have come this far without you. Great. Our operations in the Commonwealth will continue as they have been, but I have no further orders for you, Major. You've done everything that's needed. Next for you. What's next for you? My focus will now shift to the Enclave military as a whole, working with the Joint Chiefs to reform and recoup its strength. Of course, I'll still coordinate our general operations in the Commonwealth, encampments, populist compliance programs, and more. Don't we need to continue working together? That means I, said, I have nothing more for you. Miss you so I imagine much. some of the others may have tasks you could help. I was speaking to High Command earlier, and the topic of your contributions to the Enclave came up. I put forward a proposal, and they agreed. So it is my pleasure to promote you to the rank 
Oh, Colonel. Zing. I can't think of someone more qualified to fill the void left by that traitor Whitehill. Now, Dr. Kane prepared a gift for you. These are prototype FEV grenades. On impact, they'll release a cloud of FEV K9B. It's highly effective against mutants. Quartermaster Barrett will stock some if you need more. Thank you, Colonel. Dismissed. Colonel. Now. Oh, the Colonel did I think the Enclave Officer hat, because that matches better with this. Um, yeah, so the this uniform is not from uh, America Rising 2 specifically. Uh, the uniform asset itself is from the... I'm sorry, do you have Settler dialogue? Where the hell? Just having settler dialogue. Oh my god. Game's all sorts of buggy at the moment. That happens sometimes too, not just of AR2 NPCs. Okay. I mean, sure, join me. He's finished working on the FEV and is ready to settle down. I'm glad I won't sit here. If you don't mind saying. Well, that makes sense. He's not set up to be a settler. He doesn't have any of the scripts or anything. He's orders to the letter and accomplished a lot together. So with your permission, I'd like to back you off. And now we get Peterson as a companion. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go. I've got your back, sir. Leave, uh, yeah. Staff sergeant can go back to feeding people. It's been a while since they had someone. Um, so yes, I really had wanted to have Peterson available much earlier in the quest line, but he was so integral in so many later quests, I just couldn't entangle it. So that's why you get him at the end. It's a shame, um, but he still has full, the full affinity stuff and all and all that stuff. So he's still set up as a full companion. He's got commentary on everything. Um, yes, just a late game one, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, I feel like I was saying something before I was mystified by. I'm leaving the labs. The labs are cursed. Um, yes, thank you. So the uniform mesh itself is from the Remnants creation that got added to the full, uh, added in the Fallout 4 next-gen update. The texture is a retexture by Waste of Space um, that is included in the Remnants slash America Rising 2 patch that you can get from America Rising 2 for free. Um, and I love it very much. If you have that patch installed... Oh, look at well she started. Fun. If you have that patch installed, um, you get this uniform as a reward for completing um, reporting in. That's a legendary version. It's all, all kind of fun. I guess I'm just going to get my uh, Enclave cat to feel matchy. And then, um, yeah, we'll complete the mod. But there is one more quest we can do, which I will do. And then we'll go back in time for a little bit, I think. Certain. Oh, it's literally, literally up here. There we go. Carol, uh, Enclave Officer Cat. There we go. Oh, that's just menacing now. Hang on. That, yeah. Look at that. Intimidating big boy Enclave clothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need my power armor anyway. Um, but yeah, other things to know. Um, releasing the FEV, it's purely thematic. Um, now. It wasn't always going to be. I did have an idea um, that was... Um, so, so those of you that haven't played Fallout 2, uh, it's, it's basically, this is basically the Enclave trying the Fallout 2's plan again, but actually succeeding this time, um, which is releasing FEV into the world. The FEV will kill everything that they don't like, which is basically anything that's like more irradiated, slash radiated at all, who knows? Let's leave it up to you guys. Um, anyway, it kills off a lot of things that isn't them, basically. Um, and yes, just bad, bad times. Um, but you know, it's something that'll take a long time, releasing it up into the atmosphere and all that stuff. So I had thought that maybe I could have a thing where like after like six months in game or a year in game, uh, cause this is the thing I could do. 
um, the player will silently be given a perk that'll make them do something like 50% more damage to mutants. To kind of simulate, you know, the mutants have just, like, you know, taken, uh, sorry, effect and so on. Um, but, or like, you know, different numbers and so on. But, like, I know it'd be easy for me to do, but it wouldn't really be fun. You're suddenly just making the game easy, you know? Um, so, decided against it, we just decided, oh, I think it's another, lo another loading screen. The old rig's cursed, yeah. yeah. I know the bedroom is not a good time. I'll, I'll finish talking and we'll see what happens. So yeah, so that's so yeah, it's purely thematic. Um, you can decide what happens after you release the FEB. I kind of want to open the console when I'm in a loading screen. That doesn't look like it. Okay. Hmm. This is odd. The game today is not very happy. That's I brought, I brought saves again, so. All right, we're gonna gonna cut to the back screen again. Bear with. It's fine. Hello, welcome back, everyone. You can't keep the people from Tide Lena for too long, you know. I am, I am confident that we'll be fine for a little longer. I am nothing if not confident. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Let us never set foot in here again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what time is it in game? Where is Barrett? Because that's who we want to talk to. Because, yeah, there is one more quest that a lot of people are probably not aware of. Nah, that's just, that's just generico. Come on, Barrett. People need to see a quest. I guess she's probably outside then, still. Hello! Ready to help out another eyeball? Oh, that's not a quest. I mean, I'll take this one, but then I think I'll have to take this one. I'm happy to help out. Good. So, Let's I... Let's this dialogue. Bring it back. Now. Ma'am. I can't remember a time oh, okay, the Enclave has ever oh, been in a position like this. back. That's fine. This. I'd say things are finally looking up. Glad you're on our side. Now. Can I get you anything? That, that's, that's like a, just a little touch that I added. Pretty last minute. When you complete the game with the Enclave, all the named NPCs will have like a little like confirmation like, yeah, you completed it. Nicely done, little pat in the back thing. Um, I'm going to assume if I'd even talk to you one more time. Hey, look who's back from the okay, Institute. no, that's fine. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to leave the oil rig entirely and come back and then that'll trigger it. I'm pretty sure. On that, um, oh, uh, she won't let you. Like, you'll do it and she'll be like, I'm off duty, what's wrong with you? So, like, the dialogue option's there, but she'll, like, she'll just refuse. No, no, no. No, it's Barrett. You, 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 you rightfully do things on her terms. Arguably, she's the most important person on uh, the oil rig. It. I'm setting this channel until daytime too, just so I don't have to go into the cursed oil rig room. Let's see, it is 4 a.m. So let's go. Let's do that. We're getting there. We're getting a team. I, I promise. Okay, I am almost certain Barrett now has the thingo for us.
Ma'am. Hey. There we got go. Got an emergency on my hands, and I need your help. A quest not many people know is in the in in America Rising too. What happened? A few hours ago, we lost contact with a vertebrate that was transporting a large weapons catch to the army depot. We've got squads combing the area, searching for it, but so far they've not come up with anything. Now, I don't have to tell you why Wastelanders getting their hands on our weapons is a bad thing. So I need you to track that vertebrate down. Okay, let's see. Oh, great. This just gets better that's a, that's and better. A one. I knew you'd find this fun. Now let me finish. The vertebrate's last reported location was over the highway in central Boston. So I'd start looking around there. Once you've found the vertebrate, I want you to place this beacon on the weapons catch so we can retrieve it. You'd better get a move on. This is a time sensitive operation. You got it. I'm going to tell you about it. Actually, we're going to tune to Enclave Radio also. Because we're going to be having like all the features. Me and a number of my men were preserved within a government section of the vault at the oh, we've missed the great right, because because we've had Sid following us we have played in the background. But yes, there's lots of like end of game speeches and so on. Um now I'm sure you but they've already they've already played, so that's fine, never mind. We'll turn, we'll turn this off. We're all good, don't worry about it. Anyway. It was more he liked me uh, going into power armor actually. He's too he's he's too patriotic to like keep turning off the radio. So, so that's what we do. We go. I don't actually have a thing in the name by vicinity, so let's go to the Bollison Club, or however you say that. Oh, hey, Sylvan Noir. I'm definitely doing some fan art stuff soon. I just love the designs and everything around it. That is very awesome. I look forward to seeing it. Actually, looking at the time, it's only been an hour so far, but I think actually um, what we'll do is we'll finish this quest, uh, do a little wrap-up stuff, and actually we will call it there, um, rather than then start doing the White Hill Rewind Path, because then we can leave that to its own stream. And just thinking through time scales, we'll probably be able to do that in its own stream, like, fully. So I think that will probably line up best. What the? Oh, where are we going? That way. I'll post some Discord when finished, if I may catch time to do it in the first... Oh, wait. Fair enough. But yes, I look forward to seeing it if you get around. Let's just sprint past all the raiders, shall we? Have I just gotten walled in? No, I think probably. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Raider, or is that just a just a guy? Just a guy? Hello, Slim. Slim, what you're looking for? Jet, buff out. I got it all. I've never met you in my life. I know you're Slim. Goodbye. I should have just gunned him down, Enclave style. Oh well, he lives. He lives this time. That's some railroad trader agent guy ghoul. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so, fu funny that actually, because we're about to uncover a little bit, a little bit of conspiracy. Just a, just a little bit, a little one. What the fuck was that? Oh, someone down there is unhappy. It's fine. What? I am just taking a stroll. With my big old minigun. Hello. How's it going? You good? Ah, that's rude. Anyway, there's a reason why you have to kill this guy. Um, so 
So she has a clues. Uh, she has a whole tape on him. Let's see that sec. We'll, we'll get back to that. But there is. There you go. It, he's got some orders here. A vertical fly overhead at five. Oh, well, 500 hours. Um, you will down it. You will not approach it. If you're successful, you will find a payment of 750 caps by your elevator. No questions. Your rep better hold up. SR. So, like, all very you know, fancy, yeah? So, yeah, you get the holiday. And you have to listen to it. And the holiday. <laughs> there you are. You're gonna make me rich. Alright. Steady. Steady. Southwest, those caps are mine. Yeah, so he downed the bit to bed. Um, somewhere southwest, so off we go, somewhere southwest, and there's the money he was given. Mine now. Off we go, southwest. I think um, the quest log says that too. Yes, look for it in the southwest of the encampment. On we go. If I remember right, I was nice enough that if you get too far away in general, it'll put a quest marker back on like that area, so you know where to actually start from. If I haven't done that, then I forgot and I'm just dumb. Sure as heck isn't right now, is he? Sid, do something! Oh! Yeah, well, much good that did me. Oh, hi, ghouls. Actually, you know what? FUV grenades. They could stand here after that, but you know. Oh, I didn't see something like that anyway. Well, there's a lot of them. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. Go away, please. Why are there so many ghouls? It's like the oil is all over again. Come on, explode, explode, explode. Exploding fire. Thank you. Horrible. Terrible, in fact. Anyway, here we go. Oh, an attempt of opposite. That. Oh God, it's flying. Anyway, look at that. We found a vertebrate. Yeah, so yeah, there's, there's nothing there's nothing here. Crate's all open. Look at that. Some, some, some stuff's been going down. Um, yeah, tracks of blood. You just can follow it. So um, as you get close to each one, I kind of just highlight. And I can sort of like, they, they try to kind of lead you in that direction somewhat. It's not the clearest I know, but uh, yeah. Look at that, what's this? Angry railroad agents. Oh boy. What the that company. What? Oh, so, uh, I'm already Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. How am I out of ammo when I've got eleven fusion cores? Okay. Oh, I just put it away and got it back out, now it's fine. Weird. Oh really? Look, they're using Andre or Andre Madeline. No, no. Spicy. Yeah, horrible. One second, sir. Place the beacon here, because here's where the shipment is. Hi, pilot. Excuse me. Everything happened so fast. I'm flying over Boston. Next thing I know, I've got a wing missing. And a minute later, 
these railroad freaks turn up, grab the gear, and drag me along with them. Thanks for the assist. Watch your back out there. Works for me. Plasma ammo. Thank you. Yeah, so the railroad paid to have the vertebrate down. Think some inventory over there, Peterson. Fair enough. There's just, just some right there. Fair, fair, fair. So now we go back to the oil rig and let uh, Barrett know that's what's happening. To all loyal citizens of the Commonwealth, the Enclave is looking for skilled recruits to join our campaign. The recruitment ad from Ward. Oh, God, she's in there. I don't want to put the stream through going in. Oh, it seems to be more going from the bedroom. So that's fine. I'm going to risk it. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to go inside. Wish me luck, team. I've been getting the transmitter signal loud and clear. Already got a squad on the way to secure the weapons. So, what happened there anyway? Railroads, what happened? The railroad launched some half assed counterattack. The hell? The railroad was behind this? You need to tell General Ward about this ASAP, alright? You got it. Let's go tell General Ward about this ASAP. Again, it's kind of like a side quest, it's kind of radiant -y kind of thing, but yeah, we're going to be dealing with the railroad. No other factions for the Enclave around, except the Minutemen. We like the Minutemen. Sir, what's this I hear about the railroad? That they've been getting so careless as to try and steal from us? That tells me all I need to know. They're desperate. The perfect time for us to strike. Why is the railroad such a threat? You've just seen for yourself. Their numbers may be small, but they're well-versed in guerrilla warfare. And it's not something to be underestimated. I've had to face forces like these before during the Gobi campaign. I assure you, left unchecked, the damage they can do will increase exponentially. Then let's get to it. We should move quickly before they get the chance to strike again. Now I'm dispatching two assault squads. One to the old North Church and another to a recently discovered railroad safe house at Ticonderoga. I want you to join the squad at the church. Once you engage the railroad forces, the team at Ticonderoga will launch a simultaneous attack. Move out and report back once the railroad have been eliminated. So, fun fact. Um, the reason for two attack squads is because you can just destroy the railroad of your own accord, straight up, like way before this. Um, so, if you do that, um, then General Ward will send you to Ticonderoga instead. Um, and typically speaking, um, you can't usually get in there unless you're working for the railroad anyway, so that's a fairly safe bet. But if you have somehow killed everyone at Ticonderoga also, then um, that, this quest will actually just end there. Like, well, they're desperate, but they're dead now. It's fine. Um, you can do this quest a lot earlier if you anger the railroad. That is very true, Rusty. Yes, if you've become enemies of the railroad, um, while still doing quests for the Enclave. I think it's sometime after after Act 3 has started, I think. Uh, it's a bit fuzzy for me. Then uh, Barrett will ask for help with this anyway. Um, yes, let's go wreck the railroad. And once you've done that, we'll call the stream there. Peterson's still just casually smoking. Uh. What about these Boston loading screens? Awesome. Let us... Oh, it's again. Look, zero ammo. So I'll put this away and then get it back out. Oh, switch gun. There we go. What a strange bug. 
Yeah, my game's gotten very delicate today. It's been pretty well behaved up until now. Time for some extermination. Oh god, they wrecked Harry. Wonderful. There you are. Fair on them, that's some good cover up there. Anyway, I think I have to put the final shot into Carrington. Yep. Bye bye. Ah! Ammo for a second. Down we go. The catacomb, so spooky. Do about the job then, my goodness, Eddie. Oh, and we're about to run into a uh, very rare Enclave NPC, actually. It's quite funny. Um, so, how, how hard would it be to play AR2 if I'm on survival of only a special build of one in all seven specials? Probably quite hard. There's um, a few really big combat sections. Um, but, I mean, if you're determined, I guess you could probably do it. Um, also, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. <laughs> I'd love to know if you try it. Um, I am not good enough for survival. Place, sir. Ready yeah. when you are. So here's the rare NPC, Enclave Operatives. You tend to only actually really see them um, if you are attacking the Enclave. There are some random encounters where you might run into them hunting you down. These are Enclave Assassins, basically. You might sometimes find them in buildings trying to chase off you with orders to kill you. Um, and they'll be guarding the oil rig and so on also. But if uh, uh, but if you're on the Enclave side, that's the only spot where they'll show up. They're here. Um, they look like normal soldier dialogue and so on, but they can do a lot more damage Maybe and they have like sniper, um, sniper plasma guns. So yeah, rare Enclave NPC. Hello. There you go. Whoop. Stand and look at it. Feel my arm. Wow, that's a pretty poor display there. Oh, come on, operative, on you go. If I remember correctly, she has a um, stealth boy too, I think. There it is. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, the idea is there. Right, time to reload. Boom. Oh yeah, I can see like the there. Oh boy. Absolutely wrecked. Lovely. Rusty, think I've only seen an Enclave operative twice outside of this quest. Yeah, that, that tracks. They, they, they really don't show up often, but they're kind of just there when necessary for plot purposes or fluff. Time for some mass murder. Yeah, or a better minigun than you. I like them at it. Oh. I thought I was dog meat that went flying, but it's fine. Bye, Bez. Bye, Deacon. And done. And, um... And now, um, when you go back and turn in this quest, there'll be some Enclave soldiers stationed here going forward, just to make sure, you know, Something, something, people don't come back. Is Rogue Boy still alive? Hello. Goodbye. And that, friends, is what happens when you steal from the government. Absolutely. Don't lie to the IRS. Jamie can't capture glory in this quest and reprogram her to follow the Enclave. Eh. I mean, it's the Enclave. They, uh. They don't really like anything that isn't theirs anyway. They're just mass murder. That said, they do take back Pam. Uh, Pam should be in the war room after this quest, if I remember correctly. Why am I going this way? Broken. Broken, you say?
I'll just comment on just all the bugs you've encountered today, to be honest. Boston loading screens. Come on, we just need the loading screen to fade in so we can turn in the quest. We don't need to restart again. So when are you starting AR2 Chapter 2 Enclave Dating? <laughs> Um, if someone wants to pay me a lot of money, then maybe. <laughs> I am nervous about this loading screen now. But it's fine because we, we cut down the railroad very quick so we can do it again. But this is just like general a general game thing, so that's interesting. Give it a few more seconds. Come on. I can't pay my bills with loving fans. If I could, I would. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. You know the drill, guys. Another infinite loading screen, apparently. I will just be right back, restart the game. Give me a minute or two. We're back. So, let us hope that doesn't happen again. I have genuinely not gone out this way. I feel this in this way before, so uh, don't know why I did that, but it's fine. That's it, anyway, where were we? Think about how happy everyone would be um, at the end of the debate of who's better, White Hill or Ward. Well, I mean, if I was making a, a, data, a, you know, a, a dating expansion for America Rising 2, I'd have to make them both dateable. I couldn't have just one. Come on, loading screen. Got this. Tell you what, though, I feel like it might be my save being a bit funny then, if it's... Which, in a way, I'm kind of happy about, rather than being the oil rig that yeah. was being janky. Because, yeah, this is just vanilla base game stuff. Anyway, cool. All good. Back to the oil rig. Oh, there's enemies nearby? Oh, come on! I've got a quest to turn in. Who's, who's raining on my parade? It is raining, isn't it? There's literally nobody here. Good. Good. Bug slightly too close. Nah. My mod's the bug. Alright, Ward, I'll take some more praise. Waking up ward. 2 a.m. We're gonna be waking up ward. That's fine. <laughs> ward, wake up. I have news for you. Good. One less nuisance to concern ourselves with. We'll maintain a garrison at their headquarters. That should send a suitable message. Dismissed. Um, and that's the last, like, non-repeatable quest in the Mark Rising 2. No items. But actually, I guess before we sign off, just the, uh... Yeah, General Ward leaves his uniform. Why Why wouldn't he? You know, it's a cool uniform. I'm sure it's comfy. Probably breathable, right? It's fine. Um, so, just a, uh, a little thing. Also, um, General Ward and Colonel Whitehill have, like, extras of their uniforms. So, if you want to be sneaky, in Ward's bedroom, in his dresser, you, you can get his uniform and hat if you want. 
And if you go to uh, White Hills room, which isn't a uh, isn't a fancy you know, big old fancy room because board. I think it's this one. Actually, I just re realized Barrett gets like an upgrade because now the room's all to herself. And it's this dresser. Yeah, yeah. Here, uh, White Hills clothes end up in, including like the one she the uh, uniform shows at the start and the one at the end. But also her unique weapon if um, if she leaves, um, which is a pretty good sniper rifle. But yeah, just so just so people know. Um, but yes, we've completed America Rising 2 with General Ward, um, for, and from this point on, um, the Enclave will be manning you know, the outposts throughout the Commonwealth and so on too. Um, and yeah, um, so I think we'll be calling it there. Um, Tide Lino has done his duty. He's released the FEV. He's uh, seen uh, John Ward um, get, you know, complete his life goal of like something, something growing enclave, questionable, questionable shadow government stuff. All good. Um, you know what? That's a good point. Diamond City too. Let's go. Let's go end in Diamond City. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if you want to volunteer to touch power armor textures again, then I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Amazing. Um, actually, I guess there, another, another small detail. It's the FEV getting released from the chimney. <laughs> Good luck now. Anyway, let's go to Diamond City and we'll call it there. I'm gonna make a save before we get another infinite loading screen, inevitably. Why do you? Yeah, you got Enclave soldiers patrolling Diamond City. Um, and you got Enclave flags, or American Enclave flags, up and about and stuff too. You know, the, the Enclave occupation is beginning. Um, yeah. Let's, let's find a good spot. Do this. Let's, uh, this guy. Like that. Yeah, good. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, that. That. Here. Yeah, look at that. And then, let's do that. And, we will call it there. We've completed America Rising 2 with the General Ward path. Uh, the Enclave is supreme. Road, Road of Steel, bye-bye. Institute, bye-bye. Railroad, bye-bye. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the series up till now. I will be back probably next Tuesday. Um, I'm not committing to it, but probably next Tuesday. And we will rewind back to the choice. And we will do the same with Colonel Whitehill. Um, that'll probably run for one, one more stream, I would imagine. Two tops, or probably just one more stream. And that'll be the end of the America Rising 2 series. Um, and I'll, I'll dwell, in, dwell in it a little bit, but I'm pretty sure, because I've been enjoying streaming, that after that, we might just do an Oblivion playthrough. That just, uh, just might be fun. I've been looking for a reason to play Oblivion. Um, might install my first ever released mod, so you can show you guys how terrible it is. But otherwise, it'll just be a, just a just normal Oblivion playthrough. We'll see. But yeah. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I appreciate it as always. Could you try playing some settlements too? Definitely open to it. I've played it before and I love it very much. There will be actually an America Rising 2 Sim Settlements 2 patch. Maybe I'll save it for that. Maybe I'll save it for for that. Um, no time scale on it because busy. But it will happen, so maybe I'll do I'll do that. Um, but yeah, as always, I really appreciate you guys spending your evening with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will. Oh, oh God! Hang on, hang on. I ruined it. It's fine. Thank you guys for joining me for the night. Hope you have a wonderful day. This is going to be an awful vod. It's fine. 
Sorry, YouTube. Um, and yeah, see you around. Bye.